If you aren't using Chrome extensions as a UI designer, you're missing out on some insane capabilities. I personally use Chrome extensions all the time when I'm designing projects on Webflow or in Figma. And these extensions not only help me get things done on time, but they actually help me work a lot faster. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Arno. If you're new here, I generally like to do design videos that can help out designers and freelancers. Now, you know when you're on a website and you think, wow, this is a really cool font. This is an amazing font. I wonder what it could be, or I wonder what it is, right? I have no idea of knowing. And unless you go into the inspect element and you try to find it that way, there is no real way of knowing what a font is. This extension here makes that a lot easier. Now, if you just click on this extension here, you go over and if you just hover over any font that you have, it'll then tell you what that font is. Now this works on absolutely any website and some sites might have their own custom fonts and then it'll just say like heading, body text, whatever. I know Twitter does that for example but this will work on any website that has any type of font will work on this, right? So we see that the that the nav bar here uses Nunito Sans and the heading is Zilla Slab and then we go back to Nunito Sans and we can see that it pretty much just tells us all the fonts that we need to know. And if you guys don't know what this website is, it's called fontpair.co and it helps you kind of pair multiple fonts together. So that's what font, but what do you do if you have the same issue, but with colors, right? What do you do if you need to find the exact color of a page? Well, to do that, you wanna go over here and click on Colorzilla. When you click on that, you wanna hover over to pick color from page. And all you need to do essentially is scroll over the specific color that you like. You can click on it and then it copies it to your clipboard, right? So now you have that hex color and to kind of find the color that you just clicked, maybe, right, it just disappeared. You wanna go over to color picked history and here it'll it'll have the history of the color. Now, I just recently downloaded this extension so I don't have a lot of history, but you can kind of see the, the hex code, the RGB formats, everything you need to plug this into Sketch or Figma or Photoshop or whatever and have all the information ready for a client or ready for your own project or whenever you actually need to use this. So once you're done with that, you just click off of it and it's not active anymore. So sometimes as UI designers or as designers in general, we're working till 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., right? And to help with that, this is a really great extension where if you click Option Command D or you click over here on the extension itself and you turn it on, you click on, what it does is it takes the website you're on and sort of inverts the colors except for all the images. So it makes the website be dark and easier for your eyes, right? It's easier for your eyes to kind of adjust in the dark. Now this is quite similar to Apple's thing with uh, dark mode or night, or, yeah, dark mode. Here we can turn that on. And so we can see that the actual tab itself or the, the, the page itself is also dark. And now if I'm working on this at 1 a.m. or 12 or, or just at night in general, then this is a lot easier on my eyes and it doesn't kind of have that strain that I that I that I would that I would get if not. So that's Dark Reader. And another really cool thing about Dark Reader is that it has different settings. So you can turn different brightness modes on and off. You can make it brighter or darker. You can have different contrasts. You can add sepia so it's it's easier on the eyes or it's kind of like that the same but in night shift that Apple has that that same that same setting. So if you turn it all the way up it makes it a lot easier for the eyes to see. Now, I think my camera here will pick that up. And another thing that you can do is completely grayscale everything. And maybe we can turn sepia off, right? And so now we have this, this very gray kind of thing that, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's easier on the eyes for you guys. But yeah, that's just one way of doing it. And you can kind of revert back to it and you can really change up all that you're doing. So here we have completely grayscale. So that's Dark Reader. It's really, really cool and I definitely recommend recommend you guys use it. To show the next one, I'm gonna go over to Twitter and on the Explore page to kind of show you guys exactly how powerful this next extension is. What this extension essentially does is that it takes any SVG formats from the website and it creates a little folder or a zip file for you to download. So the first thing you need to do is click on, well, the first thing you need to do is go on the website that you want the SVGs from. You go over to this extension. And here we see that all the, all the SVGs are easily downloadable and, and easy to copy. So if you want to have the exact icons that Twitter uses or YouTube or Facebook, or whatever, for your Figma or for your sketch or whatever project you're working on, this is a really cool tool to use because you know that you're getting the exact same ones that they're using, right? So if you want to download this exact SVG format, 
we do just that. We click it and obviously this opened on Chrome, but, but yeah, I can show you guys the same thing on YouTube. Obviously they have different uh, SVGs and different icons, but yeah, this is a really great way of getting all the icons that you, that you know you like and you know, you, there's some really good icons here. So you want to use those. You don't want to use some, some ones that you find on icons.com or whatever. And here we go again with YouTube. So we have the search, the hamburger menus, the upload, the bell, right? Hit the bell icon, guys. <laughs> Make sure you guys subscribe to see more videos just like this one. So yeah, this is a really easy way to get all the icons from a website. And you are, again, when you do this, you're sure that you get the ones that you want, right? You don't need to go over to icons8.com or whatever. So next up is window resizer. Now what window resizer does is it pretty much resizes the window that you're working on, right? And this is really helpful as a UI designer because when you're testing out the designs on a iPhone or on a laptop or a desktop, the, the margins and the, and the padding is completely different regarding on device. So what this does is if you click on the size that you want, it changes your screen to be that size, right? So it kind of makes it simple. So it makes a really easy way to kind of see how your design would look like on Chrome, but as, a, as an iPhone 5. And if we test that again with a different, with a different size, like for example, a huge desktop, then it does just that. Now, obviously it, this is kind of counterproductive for me because I'm just on a, on a 13 inch Mac. But yeah, if you have a huge 27 inch iMac, then this can kind of be really helpful for you because you can kind of scale things down and see how they really look like on other devices without having to bring it into, into Figma or Sketch and previewing it through there. Also, another way of doing this, this isn't really part of the extensions thing, but this is just a different uh, tip or a tool. If you go into inspect element and you toggle the, the device toolbar here and you click on responsive and you can go all the way down and kind of find any mobile device that you that you want so if i want to test it on an ipad this kind of gives me a preview of how that would look like and we have how the, the mouse would look like or the pointer and now we can kind of kind of play around and see what that would actually look like and then we can do the same thing with the moto g4 for example and yeah this kind of lets you resize things as well in a different way now if you guys are new to ui design i suggest that you learn figma and get started that way. I have a tutorial here that kind of covers all the basics that you need to get started on Figma and that will help you kind of kickstart your career and make sure that you do get the base right when, when you're starting a UI design career. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.